as you can see behind me here, this is downtown Toronto, and CN Tower over there, standing tall, it's one of our major landmarks, but you cannot see a lot of high skyscrapers, not a lot of tall buildings. You know why? Because Canadians don't brag about these things. They can build all kinds of skyscrapers and tall buildings, the biggest malls in the world, etc., etc., if they want to. Canada is a very, very rich country, and it's an extremely advanced one, so they can do anything they want, but they don't want to, simply because they want to spend all their time and resources building their people, building their character, making better humans. Humans who love one another and believe in the most extremely advanced humanistic values in the world in this beautiful country. This is what Canadians care about the most. They never, never, ever boast about being the most advanced country or the most rich country, etc. No. And Canada has always kept its place among the three best countries for living on this planet. Everyone around the world loves Canada. Canada is a very peaceful country, although it's an extremely strong country too. But Canada is always a world leader for peacekeeping in anywhere in the world. Canadians are very proud of their country and they love it. They adore it just like I do. To know why Canadians love their countries from the bottom of their heart, let's find out. Why do I love Canada? Because it's beautiful. It's diverse, colorful, and multicultural. It has given me lots of memories, relationships, and friendships. You will love it too. My personal history with Canada um, comes from when my grandparents moved here. So they moved here when they were really young and both my parents were born and raised in Canada. Same thing with my sister and I, we were born and raised in Canada. Uh, so Canada is definitely our home. I'm definitely um, like born and raised Canadian. Um, so that's definitely sort of my history with Canada. In terms of what I like about it, I really like that it's known for being nice. I know it sounds strange, but uh, anywhere you go in Canada, I feel like the people are so nice. They're so accepting. They're so open. Um, it's definitely anywhere you go, you feel welcome. So that's something that I really, really like about it. Um, and for me, simply like it's home, right? That's another reason why I love it because it's just, it's comfortable. I've never really um, been to many other countries. So it's, to me, it's just home and it's, it's a place that I really, really love. In terms of what makes Canada unique, um, for one, I feel like it's very, very diverse. Uh, you can hop on the subway like anywhere and just see uh, lots of different people from different countries, different religions, um, different backgrounds. So it's definitely in that way, it's unique and it's diverse um, for sure. And secondly, the landscape is beautiful, especially the West Coast. Um, there's just so much to see there. It's definitely unlike any other, um, and it's definitely something that uh, lots of people come to Canada to see. The meaning of Canadian citizenship is about respecting the Canadian values. In Canada, we believe in equality, where all citizens are equal before and under the law. As for equality between women and men, it is enshrined in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. We have respect for cultural differences, all members of Canadian society have the right to preserve, enhance and share their languages and cultural heritage. We believe in freedom as freedom of thought, freedom of speech, freedom of religion and freedom of peaceful assembly. We believe and respect Indigenous people's rights and we believe that the stories of Indigenous peoples in Canada are essentially the story of Canada itself. We respect Canada's both official languages, English and French. Citizens have the right to education in either official language. We believe in peace, 
we are proud of our non-violent society and our international role as peacekeepers. We respect democratic decision-making and the rule of law. Canadian citizenship also comes with duties and responsibilities, such as obeying the law, serving our own needs and those of our family, serving on a jury when we are asked to do so, voting in elections, and protecting our environment and our heritage. To become a Canadian citizen, you must be a permanent resident, have lived in Canada for three out of the last five years, have filed your taxes if you need to, pass a test on your rights, responsibilities and knowledge of Canada, prove your language skills. Depending on your situation, there may be additional requirements. I would add to this list that you must love Canada. Have the willing to give back to this amazing country who gave you and your family great opportunities. Work to become an active citizen. Volunteer in your community. Contribute with your skills, your passions and experiences in order to preserve a better and safer place for future generations. Work for the common good and see beyond races, origins, skin color, genders, sexual orientations, beliefs, social classes. Look well to see the human in each and every person in the Canadian society. Happy Canada Day. Why is Canada unique? Actually, Canada is unique for me because it's one of the best, uh, if not the best place in terms of celebrating differences. Uh, as a university professor, I have visited 280 cities in 26 countries on earth and, and now I'm living in Canada. To be honest with you, I think Canada is one of the best places really in respecting differences. Your uh, different culture, your different uh, origin, your different religion. It's one of the best places that I have experienced. That's why Canada is unique from my point of view. More than 500 years ago, the very first immigrants came here to Canada from Europe. They came and they found the great originals who well preserved this land. But when they came here, they found a breathtaking scenery and prepossessing nature. Fantastic, lovely. They found a, a land that is so rich in natural resources. It had oil, gold, diamond, fresh water, woods, everything. It's also the second largest area in the world. But among all this, they also found a very harsh and rugged environment. Long winters, short summers, and just like you can see behind me here, although it's a beautiful, you know, summer day here in Canada, the sun is in front of me, but behind me here, as you can see in the sky, there are a lot of clouds. And this is almost as clear as it gets here. But we all got used to this beautiful country, including its weather. And we're enjoying the summertime now and enjoying the Canadian geese all around us in this beautiful environment and this lovely lake. Hand in hand, Canadians worked for many, many years to give to the world one of the most advanced countries on this planet in industry, in science, in everything. Canada gave a lot of inventions and a lot of great scientists to the world. Canada gave to the world the world time zones. It gave to the world insulin for people with diabetes or high blood sugar. And again, it kept giving and giving and giving hundreds of great inventions and great inventors until very lately it gave to the world Canada Arm 2. Please check this one out. Canada Arm 2 is a state-of-the-art robotic arm that is used in space exploration.
Living in this country has taught me many life lessons, all of which I am truly grateful for. It's given me the opportunity to grow and expand on many levels. So now I can pay it forward to lead, guide and support others on their journey to look at life with purpose, passion and fulfillment. Thank you, Canada. I am an immigrant here to Canada. I immigrated here about 40 years ago. I'm originally from Guyana, which is in South America, but I grew up in London, England before I came to Canada. Uh, I love Canada. It's a beautiful country. It's a safe country. And what do I love most about Canada? I love the many entrepreneurial opportunities that are available to people and um, the prosperity that it brings myself and my family. I always dream to live in Canada. Canada is the real country which I dream of. And I love Canada because my family is here now. Happy Canada Day. I find Canada to be unique in a few aspects. Uh, actually, it's the wonderful thing about this country is it's a, it's a nation of peace. Uh, it keeps peace also in other countries. And the people here are peaceful and very kind. Another unique aspect of Canada is it's a great place to study. It, it holds a very great reputation amongst other nations uh, for having some of the best universities and school worldwide, uh, renowned uh, in you know in, in, in around the globe, as well as some uh, very important research centers. Another thing that I find to be quite special about Canada is that um, you may experience all four seasons in this country. Uh, diversity of seasons, it's, it's, it's one of those uh, very special things in Canada, from a very, very hot summer to a very, very cold winter. Also, uh, known well about this country is its multiculturalism and the respect that people have for each other's background cultures. It's like this mosaic of these different places are all around the globe that have come together uh, that have enriched the Canadian culture overall. Uh, another aspect that I think is quite remarkable about Canada is the famous landmarks that exist uh, here. Uh, I can name only a couple uh, for now, Niagara Falls, which is a must-see, uh, as well as Banff National Park. It is truly a very unique country and uh, a wonderful place to live. The quality of life in Canada is also quite remarkable. I'm Cindy Martin, Cuga Nation, Turtle Clan, and I live here at Six Nations located in Southern Ontario, Canada. I wanted to let you know that as an Indigenous North American Native woman, I enjoy living here at Grand River and um, the beauty here is is so um, breathtaking at times because our woods, our, our uh, trees are so abundant here and the water at the Grand River is cleaner than most rivers here in Ontario. I appreciate the opportunity to be unique here in Canada because as Indigenous people we're thriving, healing our nations and have having a better understanding with our allies within Canada. Um, it's so important to build relationships with other nations and uh, share our knowledge and, and uh, also um, have a better understanding of, of um, each other so that we live peacefully and within um, an aspect of friendship and respect. This is, a, um, I, I guess Canada is a, a very um, strong place to do, to have that foundation of goodwill and understanding of other people, and and um, we have a long way to go, but there's always hope that people can um, live peacefully here and learn about our teachings of the Great Law and and look at why peace is so important to our people. As a Chinese Canadian. Uh, what does Canada mean to me? 
Canada is my home, and it's home for all my beloved ones. Why do I love Canada? Because Canada gives me a sense of belonging, so I love it from my heart. Why is Canada unique? I think it's diversity and kindness. People in different colors, cultures, and religions, but live together in peace and love, and we smile sincerely to each other. Wish it a do ya, do ya, do ya. Wish it a do ya, do ya, hey. Wish it a do ya, do ya, do ya. Wish it a do ya, do ya, hey. Like we saw, all the Canadians before me, they come from all different parts of the world. They look different, they have different colors of skin, they have different beliefs and religions, they have a different history, different ethnic groups. But they're all united together in the love of this beautiful land and in the belief of the great human values of Canada that never discriminates against anyone and it's an all-encompassing culture. As we say here in Canada, we are strong, not in spite of our differences, but because of them. Long live the North, strong and free. Long live the true North, strong and free forever. Happy Canada Day, everyone, and let's all keep united with the two red stripes and the white and with the beautiful maple leaf. Happy Canada Day.